In a recent editorial, we asked Archbishop Amen to release the names of church members who had been accused and investigated of committing acts of sexual abuse. By releasing the names of those the church considers to be credible, we believe the church has taken a small step in the right direction. The revelation that these hard acts date back 100 years shows a pattern that is troubling and one that gives us no assurance that the abuses have been stopped. If the church is to atone and truly heal, more must be done. One, disclose the number of active investigations of sexual abuse among current clergy. As of today, how many are under investigation? Number two, promote women to leadership positions in the church. One has to ask, if women could be ordained as priests, bishops, and cardinals, could 57 men sexually abuse children over a 100-year period? After our 300-year history in New Orleans, this year we elected our first female mayor. And in two months, a record-breaking number of women will serve in our House of Representatives. When will the church stop marginalizing women? Every Mass, the church asks for the prayer of Mother Henriette DeLille. What would she say about our church today? Archbishop Amen, do you agree women should be in the leadership of the Catholic Church? We invite you to respond. This has been an editorial by WDSU President and General Manager, Joel Vilmanay.